Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Today Travis and I are on the farm and we are taking off the quick attach off the 8235R. What we're going to do with it is we're going to flip the arms around on each side. There's, we have a ripper that we want to hook up to this and right now we'll just have to hook it up regular, regularly to the three point and we don't really want that so we're just going to take off the quick attach and we're going to flip it around and throw it back on there. And I like the quick attach on the back of the tractors because it keeps the arms in check. A lot of times when you let the arms roam freely back there, they'll swing around and it's really, really annoying. So we're going to leave the quick attach on there and it'll keep the arms under wrap when it's not hooked up to any three-point implement. And we, then we can use, use it to actually quick attach to stuff. So Travis is over here. He's got the pry bar. He's trying to pry it apart. You got it for the most part. And if you see him, make sure you tell him that I loosened it for him. Someone's got to do the camera work, right? And switch to the sledgehammer for that one. Came off nice and easy. Well, that was easy. And by the way, I'm rubbing this in real time. I know, my hands are just that quick. And Travis is over there doing the same exact thing on the other side. Now, since we're flipping these around, there's going to actually be bare metal hanging out on the other, on the opposite outside side of the arm because we're flipping them around, so therefore the side that was facing inward on one side will be outside on the other. Now we're going to fix that later on when we get the time. We're going to go through and spray paint it. I'm pretty actually pretty good with spray paint. Um, Normally what I like to do is I go through and get a wire wheel and wire it all off, any junk that's on it, and then go through with a base coat and then spray paint the main coat on it. I've done that to the wheels on my trailer and they turned out really nice, so I like to stick by that method. Now there you can see the bar on the inside. We took the back metal plate off of it. And that's just the bar that goes down, and when you go to hook something up to it, you back up to it, you drop your arms down, and it falls right into place, and you don't need, you sh the theory behind it is that you shouldn't have to get out of the tractor to hook it up. So, now we're trying to put it back together. Now push out the plugs. Travis is putting the bolts in on the other side. Now these arms are each held on only by two bolts, but you can see the pin there. There's two pins that just kind of serve to hold it in place. They don't really do much to hold it onto the main block. I'm putting my side on there. Travis is putting his bolts in. I'm putting mine in. We made sure to lube them up with WD-40. That's kind of a good practice to get into so that when you have to take it off next time, or in this case, if, if we ever have to take them off, hopefully it'll be a little bit easier. I was taught how to use a hammer. Don't judge me and my hammer swinging tactics. Now we got the impact. Jobs is over there tightening his, hit, tightening his side up. Switch back and forth on each bolt that we tighten so that nothing binds. Yummy. Those lashes are spring loaded. You can see the spring there. Get it on nice and tight. 
All right, now that we have that done, Travis took off the latch on this side, and I'm here. Got the ratchet, and I'm just taking off the brace for the latch, and I'm flipping around so it's not hanging out on the outside. Just looks kind of goofy like that. So we're switching them back to the way they should be. I got it on. Travis is going to put the latch back on there. And in the words of Travis, you know why you call them Jesus pins? Because after you lose them, you go, oh, Jesus. His words, not mine. <laughs> All right, now he's taking that side off. Pretty quick. Now, same thing on the other side. I'm taking off the brace and flipping it around. It was getting a little dark, so I turned on the backlight there, set it on the skid steer. Now the second latch, then I'm putting that metal plate back on on this side. Man, I have quick hands. So now I picked it back up with the chain, then I'm on the back side of the tractor, I'm just lubing everything up to loosen it up. Now that I've got everything moved up, I'll go ahead and hook up the first side. Got to reposition. It takes a while to get the perfect height on it. Moving up the pin, putting that in. It was about that time we realized that the arms on the tractor aren't are too uh, are too far apart. They're too wide. So what Travis is doing there is he's taking the crescent wrench to the sway block. He's taking it out on that on that side. Since the arms are too wide, they don't fit the quick attach anymore, which isn't a problem for us. You can see I walked away with that side sway block right there. He's putting the nut back on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go on, over on the other side, take out that sway block, narrow it up so it's nice and centered. Travis get back, gets back in the bobcat. Now I took out that sway block, set it off to the side. Putting it back on. And now she fits. Now I just got to put it on. Now if you guys haven't already, make sure you go to my Facebook page. Follow me there. I'm sure I'll upload a picture the second we get the duels put on the front. That's our next task.
moving up the third arm. Now this one's the easy one. Get that chain out of the way. Now that we got her all hooked up. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. There you have it folks. <laughs>